in buildings, depending on how they are designed and built, change the state of mind and mood of the people inside them. Is it possible that expert minds know how to harness the natural energies of the planet through megastructures and sacred geometry? For hundreds of years, a great number of beautiful buildings known as star forts, also known as bastion forts, adorn our planet like jewelry when we look at them from the sky. Nowadays, it is very rare to find much information about these star-like buildings, despite being a phenomenon that is found all over the world. Michelangelo, the great Italian artist, was the creator of the original design for star forts in an attempt to improve the defensive earthworks of Florence around the year 1520. In the following century, architects Baldassare Peruzzi and Vincenzo Scamozzi developed even more of Michelangelo's design. This construction model quickly became popular across Europe once it was exported from Italy in the 1530s and 40s. It continued to do so for the next three centuries. The term bastion fort can also be used to refer to star forts. These are military fortifications designed in a style that developed during the era of gunpowder when the cannon came to dominate the battlefield in the middle of the 15th century in Italy. Before the advent of cannons, castles and cities were protected using a circular type fence, which later proved not to be the most efficient in eliminating attackers. It left many blind spots available as long as the enemies were very close to the high walls. The star fort served as a response to the need to better defend the cities, for which the entire concept of fortification was redesigned. The star forts are characterized by overlapping triangular structures, or, as the name indicates, a star-type form. Sometimes large ditches or water channels were built around the fort to further protect it. The star forts were built higher than the ground level or even right at sea level, with an angle inclined inward. In this way, any attacks were more likely to hit the ground and not the walls. It is said that the star fort's acute angles served to eliminate dead zones. These were locations that could not be fired upon due to the angle of the fort's rounded turrets, which allowed the adversary to undermine the castle walls. Historians assure us that the fort's peculiar shape helped the people in charge of them cover the dead zones for protection during battles. But is there more to the star forts than mainstream history leads us to believe? Star forts were a type of building originally designed by the minds of the great master architects and masons of a previous empire. These structures, in addition to any military purpose they might have, performed a superior function. Was there more than meets the eye to the design of the star fort? How were these societies able to construct such marvelous and advanced structures using ancient and sacred geometry? It is important to examine what the purpose of the buildings were since there might be some very useful information contained inside these incredible structures. According to online researchers, 336 star forts have been discovered in the world so far. However, it's very likely that many remain unfound or have been completely covered by a previous mud flood type event. This number is surprising since practically on every continent there are star forts. Were these forts designed so efficiently that their construction methods spread so quickly around the world? How was the knowledge shared across seas and continents so long ago? Some researchers conclude that the construction methods for all these forts must have been the same or the information on how to build them prodigiously spread rapidly throughout the ancient world. Alternatively, were they all built by the same advanced civilization? A global empire, if you will? As we could already guess, most star forts share many similarities with each other, the most notable being that they are all built near large bodies of water, such as coasts, lakes, or rivers. Researchers of the Old World Reset Theory conclude that the star forts are built on terrestrial power lines or guidelines. These are built in specific locations containing large amounts of etheric energy of the Earth. Let's examine the role of water and frequency in these star fort designs. When a particle of water is examined with a microscope and subjected to a specific vibrational frequency, the particles adopt a geometric shape. The shape that the particles take on is dependent on the frequency that was applied. The tests that were conducted by Masaru Emoto, a Japanese author, 
scholar, and researcher, are given as an illustration of this idea. In 1994, he collected samples from a pristine water source in Japan, froze a few drops of the water, and then analyzed the frozen drops using an electron microscope. The images presented stunning examples of crystalline hexagons that resembled snowflakes. Similarly, audio frequencies on grains of particles can create the most stunning geometric designs. These designs can be found in the ancient architecture found across our realm. Emoto then took water from a polluted river, froze it, photographed a few drops of it, and verified that the image that appeared in them was not a lovely hexagon, but rather an unstructured shape, as if the water were sensitive to the environment in which it was situated. Can we focus energy on particles of natural material and affect it with how we live on this planet and how we conduct ourselves? His studies did not end there. Rather, he continued to explain how ideas, emotions, language, music, and other stimuli alter the geometric molecular structure of water in our bodies. Emoto carried out a series of experiments on pure water droplet samples to investigate their properties. Through the application of external stimuli to the samples, he was able to identify that music, words, intentions, projected thoughts, and emotions are all perceived by the water particles, and that the water particles change their shape depending on how they are perceived. There was a significant gap between the droplet samples that were exposed to pleasant stimuli, such as music, flattery, and well wishes, and those that were subjected to negative stimuli, such as criticism, loud sounds, insults, bad wishes. It was discovered that when water is subjected to favorable stimuli or a high vibratory frequency, such as thoughts, it alters its physiognomy, and the water's particles take on a hexagonal geometric shape. A great number of the other formations taken by the water samples are reminiscent of the patterns utilized in star forts. Were the designs of these star forts really meant to convey a certain type of meditative mental state of the inhabitants around it? Were they able to provide a level of protection unknown to the common man and as such, were designed in this way? Being built near water sources or on ley lines, the structures were designed with engineering based on sacred geometry. It channeled the terrestrial ether and redistributed it in the form of a resonance that tuned the energy of the ether of the earth and channeled it within the walls of the fortification. This may have altered the state of consciousness and mood of the residents of the interior, and help them with this to remain healthy, lucid, and nourished by the energy of the earth. Let us remember that, in the stories of the old world reset, it is said that they fed precisely on the ether of the earth. Can we ever replicate anything remotely like this today?